Hey, hey, uh, my Scrappy friends, we are uh, coming to you with a, another uh, project for Tracy Reed Designs. This one is the February theme for the love of, and this will be um, for the, uh, my title is going to be for the love of selfies, pretty much. Um, I'm going to show you how it kind of develops as it, that wasn't my first go round of it, uh, but we changed it and actually I love the way it turned out. We are going to start today in Canva and I have been listening um, lots and lots of questions about how the whole hybrid and going from um, either Photoshop or Canva to paper is how that works. Um, so I'm going to kind of walk you through this one because honestly this one could have been pretty complicated um, in Photoshop, but uh, when I sat there and thought about it, I was like, I think this one actually might be way easier in Canva. I don't do too many in Canva as I'm pretty um, proficient in Photoshop, but I think that this one did. So first of all, I wanted a grid space with five photos across, four photos down. So I went into Canva and kind of found something like that. I just put in the search bar four by five photo collage and found this one. I knew that this is pretty much exactly what I wanted, just square pictures, um, and that's what I found. So I deleted everything around it. You see me doing that right now. I go up to the resize that I'm doing here and just resize it eight by or six by six point eight five by eight point two five. Um, I believe that you can only do this in Pro though, so um, you do have to pay for this option, unfortunately. But I am a social media manager, so I pretty much use this nonstop and that's I paid for it so all right so why I thought that Canva would be the best for this is that um, it does just easily duplicate boxes and I didn't have to like make them manually by hand pretty much um, also I will show you here that Canva pretty much aligns everything for you yes Photoshop does that also but Canva just kind of does it easier I guess um, so as you can see, I'm going through, I think right now here, I'm trying to find where the align. Yeah, I think I'm trying to find like, where is that align? I know that I had it at one point. Um, and just making sure that everything is all set. All right, so right now you are just seeing me align everything. Um, I wanted the boxes a little bit more spread out um, so they looked more uh, matted on my uh, page. So that is kind of what I'm doing right now. Um, and you can see I am going over to this position button over here and clicking it to get all those aligned groups vertically this way. Um, and you'll just see me go through each line and make sure that they are all straight. Now, technically I didn't have to do this. I put this in here just so that you guys know that it's here um, but because I'm printing this out and doing it on paper it really didn't have to be done if you are a digital scrapbooker though that would like to scrapbook straight in Canva and just print it out as one sheet this is how you would align those things so all right from there I am just dragging in all of my photos as you can see. Sorry guys, my screen is a very long um, screen to edit on. So I have to keep on shifting my screen back and forth. Anyways, um, I did just upload all of my photos into Canva and now I am just simply dragging and dropping. It's a very easy process um, and it's much easier to um, do clipping mask in Canva. Um, other than in Photoshop. Now my next video will be showing you how to do clipping mask in Photoshop so you don't have to worry about that but Canva makes it super easy just to drag and drop your pictures and now I'm just going through and making sure that our faces are there and if we were too little in the picture blowing them up a little bit. But yes yeah, so I picked out 24, 24 selfies. I went through all of 2022 and picked out 24 right? No 20. 20 four times five is 20 <laughs> pictures of uh, me and my husband um, throughout the year. So next we are, I just uploaded the elements that I wanted out of um, Tracy Reed Designs uh, My Persons kit. This background paper is super cute. I loved it. I loved the way it kind of just shaded everything. Um, and then 
Um, I am going to pull in these heart uh, stickers, I believe is what they were uh, technically. Um, but these are going to be printed on vellum at the end of this. So I did put them behind my picture and reduce the transparency of them to make them look a little bit more like vellum even here, just so I could kind of see everything. Uh, you are going to see me pull in this you and me. Uh, this is one thing that is going to get chopped. Um, I end up using the alpha from this um, kit to spell out selfies um, for the love of selfies. As you can, you know, as you got from the uh, beginning. But to distress this background just a little bit more, I used her whitewash, like paint swatch type thing. Um brush and I am literally just putting that in random places over the background kind of putting them in places where I feel like it's going to show up and then switching that all the way to the back um, you would just hit the position button again and switch to the back so oh looks like I didn't like those hearts where they were so we switched them um, and then just adding a text box honestly at the bottom those things will print out um, on the main page so I'd print that right out I don't have to print that separately oh it looks like I am adding a tag sometimes my most difficult thing with Canva is not getting it to attach to the background uh, so sometimes you just have to fuss and fight with it a little bit but otherwise um, okay so the last thing other than the text box um, that I'm going to show you is now people sometimes ask me like okay so now how do you print I guess um, and for me in Canva, I just click that add to page um, and I will print at this point, I was still going to use the you and me, you're going to see. Um, I would pull the you and me down, those, um, that little tag thing at the top, I don't know what you want to call that. And I'm actually going to pull down all of the pictures. Normally I do not let the silhouette cut my pictures out. Um, I just cut them out myself, but these small little I think these were size like maybe 1.25 uh, I have the spread right here let's measure um I just saved myself a lot of trouble and let the silhouette print those out actually they are legit almost a inch exactly so these one inch by one inch pictures I you know I was just like at ah, the silhouette can just cut those out I was already cutting out you know the you and me and a couple of other items and did that uh, the heart stickers are going to get dragged to a whole nother spread because I am going to print those on vellum um, and I just print that right from here and uh, do it that way all right so now I'm just going to pull each uh, part of this uh, spread down first I'm going to take everything that is going to go to the silhouette so you're going to see this you and me drop down and then I'm going to work on selecting all of these pictures and that little banner up top um, <clears throat> down the heart stickers like I said are going to go on a different spread all of themselves because they are going to get sent to the printer to print on vellum I do struggle with getting these pictures I don't know like I don't know it, it was trying to attach to everything <laughs> so sometimes Canva can be a little bit weird on that but once you get the hang of it usually it's fine um, okay so yeah so doing that um, and then you will see here in a second I will switch the screen back over for you there we go got those pictures drag those down that is now ready for um, to get saved and you just go over to the share button and click the page that you would like here I am dragging those hearts down to the vellum page struggling a little bit I don't know why but anyways moving those in perfect naming that the vellum you don't have to but it keeps it you know organized if you need to stay a little bit more organized naming that one silhouette I am not going to obviously print this white square um, I will just cut that out of cardstock so um, I do believe the rest of this I just sit here and delete the rest of this
Honestly, I'm not sure what I'm doing. At the, I, oh, I was trying to see if I could find the dimensions of that. I did actually learn how to turn on the rulers. That's what I was doing. So anyways, deleting the rest of this. And then I will go up here to download. And you will see that um, I just saved that. <clears throat> here we go. And I click the page that I want so that I can upload those into Silhouette. And there you go. And that is easy as that. I did notice um, that it wasn't coming into Silhouette in the exact um, size that it should be. Oh, I noticed. Eight. I didn't. I didn't uh, save up as a PNG. Like I just. All right, so there's that. I did have to do a bit of resizing, which I'm not exactly sure why I had to, uh, but I knew what kind of the sizes I wanted, so I just did a little bit of resizing. Um, normally it should, when you go from Photoshop to Silhouette, it <clears throat> comes out perfectly, so I'm not sure that might be user error on my part. It wasn't a big deal to me, I just resized it. So, as you see here, I'm putting like a six by eight square up here it's just so that I can make sure that I'm getting uh, the sizing correct. Uh, I kind of eyeball it. It's not, you know, it's definitely not probably perfect, but I knew exactly kind of like how I wanted the page to look, so I just did it that way. Again, I wasn't going to fuss and fight with it. So, all right. So that was that. And I sent that to the printer. You will see here. Always remember to check your printer settings and make sure that you are on the right type of paper and um, that you are uh, printing at the best quality um, on your printer. Um, you see a major difference in that. So next, I needed to go in here and save this one and send to printer on this. So I just saved as a JPEG, opened it up and sent it to printer that way. I think it shows you here. I think I searched if I could send it straight to the printer for you guys. You can't. Um, you have to save it and then go into your printer options and print. Um, print from your printer. So that's what I'm kind of doing here, even though they have 45 million different things that you can do with it. Um, you can't do that. So, <clears throat> and there we go. All right, guys. So I am going to bounce back in to my table. All right, so now we are on my table and you can see that I have everything printed out just like you've seen on the computer. So here is our back uh, background and you can see it is that pattern paper um, with the little paint swatches, whatever. You, I don't know what you want to kind of call them, like paint brush strokes. There we go, paint brush strokes. The little hearts were actually part of the pattern paper. So. Um, usually my spreads come together quite quickly as long as there's not too much like thing making of things. Um, I think the longest part is probably these just putting down these squares. Um, I decided just to start in the, you know, corner of this one and then put all of my pictures down. Uh, I'm not going to make you sit through this whole thing, but I do show you the first row. Uh, pretty easy. Uh, the hardest part is making sure that they're all straight, and I don't get them straight. Um, by the end, I could definitely tell they were off just a little bit. Um, but, and then I just cut um, around those with my paper trimmer, of course, leaving a little bit of a border around that you'll see here. First of all, I don't think that my trimmer is straight to tell you guys the honest truth on top of it, but this also was not straight. But by the end of it, you really cannot even tell because I cover up the bottom portion of it. So next part is going to be cutting out these um, vellum circles. So I don't use anything too special. My vellum that I know of, at least. My vellum is just regular old vellum when I did get these down, I was like, oh, geez, these might be bigger than I expected. Uh, but they worked out fine. Um, and yeah, so I just fussy cut these out real quick. All right, the magic of YouTube, that is done.
Now we're just going to put this on here. I did want to get these set before I completely put those vellum pieces down, but honestly, I just put those vellum pieces down with a little bit of adhesive um, behind the photo. Uh, but when I started putting adhesive down underneath of these, you really could not see the adhesive. I don't know if it was this vellum or if it was the color of the vellum. So you're gonna see right here, I just do that and you legit can't see it. So I was pretty happy. Uh, right, and then there is that new title, Selfies. I just cut that out in my silhouette, of course. Um, and then this little banner, used my a tiny attacher, bam, done. And that also helped me bring that vellum down also um, as more of a attach. I did pull these, um, <clears throat> I don't know what you call them, letter, like, alpha. I don't know what kind of alpha you call these. Um, stickers from my stash. Um, and you can see I'm going to cut every single one of them down because I feel like they're just too tall. I don't know. I've done this for every single one of them. I don't like, I think they just have too much on each side of them. Anyways, um, to finish off my title, um, it will say, like I mentioned before, for the love of selfies, I am going to put that selfie, uh, title down. My text box is already done. Of course, you don't have to do that. You can either write your journaling or print it out on like transparency. I have the Mako transparency paper, but honestly, this is the absolute easiest way. Um, and you know that it comes out. It also gives you a little bit of structure uh, for when you are building your page. So I really hope that this is helping some of you kind of get it, um, like figure out how to put these hybrid picture or uh, pages together. I have absolutely loved hybrid scrapbooking. Um, a, I can kind of sit down and put together a spread um, while, you know, my kids are doing homework with me or um, I'm watching a TV show, that type of thing, um, and put together several spreads. Um, I don't, get the decision fatigue that I do get from a ton of paper products being everywhere. And also I can make the products work for me. And um, I, I love it. I absolutely do love it. One thing I will go through, I don't think I do it on camera, is to one thing with digital products, obviously, is it doesn't create a ton of dimension. Um, so one thing I did do with these alphas and it kind of, you know, when you zoom into those alphas, they do have like, uh, what it looks like to be like more of a plasticky effect. I don't know how, what a puffy type sticker. Um, so I did go over that with, uh, the glossy accents in the end and, I absolutely loved how it turned out. All right, let's get ready to put this in our family album. This one will go, like I said, in my family album. Um, it will go obviously in the 2022 portion. So I'm just kind of looking, since this one doesn't really have like a date or anything, I don't have a lot of spreads from 2022. That is a goal this year to do more stories in the now. Um, I have done a lot of project life in the now, but not so many like stories as I am a uh, scrapbooker that is trying to catch up for sure. All right, guys, go check out Chase Redesigns and all of her amazing kits. Hit that subscribe button. I truly appreciate it. And I will see you in the next.